All the girls at the back are not gonna find it. Let no one in this Mickey Mouse wonder. Well, guys, hello. Guess who's back? Back again. Movement's back, tell a friend, this is back. Hi, how's everyone doing? I realise I haven't been vlogging for a about three or four months. Now, I'm going to try and explain a little bit why. All very exciting, so I hope you um, stick with us. And I do apologise. I know people have been wanting to see some of the vlogs that I've been doing. Um, on the case. Last time I spoke to you, I was going to on holiday um, to the US of A. USA, USA, USA. Um, the USA is an amazing place. It's not all guns and drive-bys. It's literally like, it was a road trip that me and one of my friends were going on, um, starting off in Key West, then traveling to Miami, Obviously we sang Will Smith constantly on our way to Miami. Basically every place we went to it has a song um, that we could sing. So we started off in um, Key West. That hasn't got a song actually but it's in Florida so Florida you know all that jazz. And picked up this motorhome and it was like um, f fucking hell. It was like this tank and I asked was the one who stupidly said I would drive first. So we got in it and um, we pulled off out of the place where we picked it up, went round the corner and slammed up the curb and apparently I lost a hubcap. I don't even know what a hubcap is, but apparently when we took it back at the end of the trip, uh, it's gone. Anyway. Not too sure how that is. I mean, I mean, it's easy to just mount the curb and nearly take a pedestrian out. I don't know what the big deal is. Anyway, after we got out of prison, jail, no, I'm joking, um, we continued um, Miami, we continued to Orlando. Now, I know I don't look like the kind of um, theme park kind of guy, but I thought, you know, when in Orlando, do like the Orlandians, is that right? Do is someone. Me and Kimbo, we started off in, by the way, if you want to see the Or the Orlando video, I'll put a link on this video for you to click and you can watch that. I've also got other videos coming of all the different stages of the journey. So you will uh, be bored shitless of me by the time I'm finished. So all these videos that I haven't posted, I'm literally going to just spam your feed for months to come with shit about me and the journey. So we went to Orlando, we went to the theme park, we went to Universal because we didn't have too long. So we only had like um, two days. So we, went, we didn't want to try like and cram too much in. So we crammed like we went to Universal for the whole day. For those who haven't been to um, Universal, it's it's pretty. I won't go. I won't you know tell you all about it because that I've done that in a video and um, tell you a few pointers that we liked uh, or didn't like. We went to Universal and it's basically as soon as you get there, it's full on like proper like Transformers and like massive. I mean, I'm not a Transformer kind of guy. I was more of a Barbie. But um, my friend Kimberly, there's another dog behind us there, by the way. And my friend Kimberly, she was, um, she loved the Transformers. Anyway, I, because I don't know why, but I think um, it's because of uh, the disability. Um, uh, I wasn't allowed to go on Transformers, which was a bit of a, a blow, not in a good way. Actually, I'm a bit annoyed because we went on like Harry Potter, uh, which was like really good actually, um, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I mean, what's not like, you know, flying around on a pretend broomstick? 
always go, always good to have something to hold between your legs, I find. Went on lots of rides, went on the Harry Potter, I went. That was probably the highlight, Harry Potter. I like the Shrek ride, I like Simpsons ride. Um, so we scooted about there for the day, um, eating loads of shit and uh, drinking, like, you know, cupfuls of sugar, basically, which was champion, off me tits for the whole day. And then we went to New Orleans. Now, this, tr this, this journey was probably the longest. This was the longest stretch we did. And we um, we definitely got caught up in some sort of hurricane. Definitely a strong gust of wind. Windy as fuck. You know, I'm a trooper. You know, whatever the weather. Uh, oh, that could be a song. Whatever the weather. I'm not really that bothered about weather when I'm driving. But my friend, she's a little bit nervous. So anyway, we, we, we found where we wanted to be. Um, it's called an RV park in America. Not being funny or anything, but if you've had an RV before... Or, if you, or you're thinking about getting a motorhome, it's quite hard work. First of all, you have to hook up your electric and your, your, um, your electric and your water every time you go to a new park. I mean, not the 1700s. I mean, what is going on? What I, I've realised doing this motorhome trip that all I'm act we're actually doing is going back in time, like collecting things rummaging around for food like I mean you just can't get parked near a McDonald's for love no money and if you try and go under the bloody in the drive through you take the friggin roof off it's a bloody meh so yeah so we did that and um, we we yeah the New Orleans and then so we went through this like stormy thing Um probably you know Hurricane, 100 mile an hour winds, it's nothing. Um, then we got to New Orleans and I am not joking, went to bed, woke up the next day and the heat was like, obviously I'm, I'm carrying a few extra pounds. The heat was on, on another level, like I'm, I'm telling you, it was on another level. In America, I don't know what they say, if they say over 100, don't they? I don't know. But here, we would say 44 uh, degrees, it was honestly, like, I quite like the odd um, nine minutes in uh, quick tan. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm all for the heat. But this, I just, I felt as though I was, like, I, I walked like two steps and I was like Rick Waller in a, a chip shop. I was actually like, it was that bad, my grey t-shirt was actually like dark grey by the time I finished it because it was so wet. Now, that's not a good thought, that's not a good visual thing for you to see, to see but it's the truth. I was absolutely sopping. Um, so New Orleans, we stayed there for, um, I think about three or four days in New Orleans. Then we went to Houston. <sighs> okay. Everywhere on that trip I loved. Um, all of it was totally different. But Houston was another kind of shit. Like, it, it's meant to be the fourth biggest city in America. Now, if that's the fourth biggest city, then get a fucking bus service. Not that I would get on a bus, by the way. I'm not saying that. But there's a hop on, hop on, hop on hop off bus in nearly every city in the world um, even Newcastle in England has got a hop on a hop off bus in Houston the fourth biggest city in America it only ran one day and it only ran for like it, you couldn't even hop on hop off you just had to hop off I mean hello hop on hop off no hopping on hopping off you just hop on once, and you hop, hop off. Isn't that just getting on, getting off? And it's not hopping. It's not hopping there. Um, so yeah, it was all about... Um, so we were disappointed we couldn't do a bit hopping. Um, we went in Ubers. We used Uber quite a lot. Hundreds of pounds a lot. But I'm not being funny or anything, but the, probably the most exciting thing in Houston was a park. Now, I'm all for a park. 
Like, don't get us wrong, I, can, I, I like a bit of, like, greenery. You know, I've got a plant somewhere. Um, oh, no, that's artificial. Sorry, that doesn't count. Um, but I do, you know, I like green stuff. I like to see nature. I like to see nature. So we went to this park, and to be honest, we, we even said to the Uber driver, where would you recommend? And he didn't even recommend anywhere. So New Orleans, uh, sorry, Houston, uh -uh. not for me. Everywhere else I loved. So from Houston we went to Dallas, we didn't really have long in Dallas, so did a bit of book a ruin on a rodeo, uh, as you do. Went on our merry way, we dropped the motorhome off, uh, we got lost obviously because I'm a shit map reader, and Kimberly's too busy screaming when we're going over hills. Um, we got there in the end, but this is another thing. So when we went back to the RV park, we had to, um, we had to, we got back, obviously we were sweating, um, and he was like, the guy was like, oh, the tank's not full. And we were like, nay shit, we're, we got lost. And he's like, well, we we you can either go to the garage and fill it up, um, and it'll be like, I think he said forty dollars, or you could come here, or we could do it for you, and it'll be eighty-seven dollars. Wow, you ripping! I got the job of going back to the garage. Oh, it's only over there. Don't worry. Well, twenty minutes friggin' later, a wrong turn here and driving on the wrong side there. Um, I got back off to San Francisco. I've started back a uni. Can you believe it? Like I'm doing my second year in my performing arts degree. Obviously you guys are on this journey with us so I need to tell you exactly how I've been and you know the probably one of the big factors why I haven't been um, uploading any vlogs for a couple of months. I have a few things wrong. Um, not that you could tell because I am beautiful. Um, no. So I have got a few things. I've got like uh, kyphoscoliosis, transverse myelitis, fibromyalgia. Obviously, Lady Gaga's got fibromyalgia now, so you know. If it's good enough for the stars, it's good enough for me. Do you know what I mean? And I've I noticed when I came back from uh, America, I was... Actually, this is, this is wrong. Actually, I didn't notice. And it's only in hindsight, is that, is that what, how you say it? I realised that I was in, like, I, I suffer from chronic pain. That really affects my mood and, like, how I felt like when I come back off holiday, I was so in pain, but I didn't, it was, I took, I, I, anyway, I've started taking um, a stronger paracetamol and... It seems to be doing the trick at the minute, so I feel like I can be more myself. I can feel like I can um, communicate better with you guys. I feel like I can um, do some of the things that I want to do. Um, but I've also worked out that my mood is definitely linked to pain, which is something that I never really knew or thought about. But um, it totally, totally makes sense because when I started off on this journey with you guys and um, I started off just be come out of hospital and I was on medication then for um I was I just started hitting paracetamol so again the pain had gone so I felt like I could you know do things and but I think now it's got to the point where well it did where I got used to the dose of paracetamol and the pain started coming back and because I've lived with the pain all my life it seems to, you know, you just seem to get on with things, but I kind of can recognise now, which is really, really, I'm grateful I can recognise pain and how that affects me mood. And, and also, you know, I just want to, you know, I, when, I, when I come back off holiday, I, I really wanted to try and lose some weight, and I didn't. And I think that really put, put pressure on myself, like some sort of, like, stick. And that... Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a very, like, now, like, all or nothing type of guy. So I either really, really want to be really skinny or nothing at all. And actually, the reality is, 
Um, I just really want to be just like feel healthy and normal. I'm not bothered if I'm dead skinny or whatever. Actually, I, I look pretty rank when I'm skinny. So guys, I've just I've just wanted to check in and see, tell you I'm back. I know everyone's really excited to hear about what happened to Lisa. So that is coming, I promise. And please like and subscribe. And there's something coming in a couple of weeks, but I can't say what it is, but I can give you a clue. Here, you ready? Now that's a big clue. But thanks for being patient, guys. I really do appreciate all my followers. I really appreciate the time that you take to um, watch. And also I appreciate your likes and your subscribes so please please keep liking keep subscribing because if you don't I, I don't think anyone wants to hear um and if you do i'll keep going so thanks everyone it's great to see you again i'm really excited for the future and um i hope you are too hope everyone's all right oh and by the way i don't mean to scare everyone but it's only a couple of months till christmas so Okay, guys. Bye. Merry mint.